what are the different types of mobile applications. We're going to discuss the native app, the web app, and the hybrid app. So what is a native app? Native apps are downloaded from the Apple Store or the Play Store, written in the native language, aka C Sharp, Java, Objective-C, or Swift. The software lives on the actual device. It has full access to the platform's APIs. It has awesome performance. The source code only works on the targeted platform. What are the pros of a native app? Native apps offer silky smooth performance, the best user experience, an app icon is available on the device, it can receive push notifications, runs inside the operating system, and can use the platform's APIs. For example, the camera, audio, network, storage, GPS, and anything else the device is capable of. What are the cons to a native app? Developers need to know each of the platform's languages. The source code only works on the targeted platform, aka Windows, iOS, Android. They'll all need their own unique project code. It's slower to the market due to the multiple source codes. How does it work? Devs will write the source code and add resource files such as images, audio. When they're ready to submit to the App Store or the Play Store, they'll need to compile and package their application. iOS package is an IPA, Android package is an APK. Once it's compiled and packaged, they'll be able to submit to the App Store or the Google Play Store. Maybe Windows if you're into that kind of thing. Next up, we'll go over a web application. What is a web app? It's a website designed for mobile. It sometimes tries to mimic the native design. It's written HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Network connection is a requirement for it to work. What are the pros? It's cross-platform. It's a single code base. It's fast to production and it has a lower development cost because it's a single code base. What are the cons of a web app? They'll have sluggish performance, depending on the device of course. It requires a lot of loading. Network connections are required. They're not available in the app stores. Extremely limited API access. No application icon. They live solely in the browser. How does it work? It's a single source code made with a responsive web design, which includes HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Using Chrome or Safari, the mobile device will request a website from the server. The server will respond with a mobile-optimized website, such as testaholic.net. The major advantage here is if there's a bug, it'll be fixable on the server side and can be deployed immediately. Next up is the hybrid app. What is a hybrid app? It has a native layer with embedded HTML, basic access to the native APIs, it is available in the app stores, and the web portions of it can be updated server-side. What are the pros? You have a single source code, access to all the platform APIs, it's less time to deployment, web portions can be updated on the fly, it's available in the app stores, and has an application icon on the device. What are the cons? May be dependent on middleware. Middleware may also be slow to update. They're more bug prone. Some bug fixes require the middleware updates themselves. Some bu bug fixes are outside of your control, meaning you're completely dependent on middleware to fix them. They usually have somewhat slower performance and more issues from device fragmentation. Just to clarify what I mean by middleware, that means something similar to like the phone gap applications. How does it work? Hybrid apps are written in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. They have a single code base. A middleware layer sits between the app and the platforms. The hybrid code uses the middleware APIs instead of the native application APIs. The middleware will then translate their APIs into the native platform APIs. 
So what this means is you can write one set of source code and it should translate and run on iOS, run on Android, and run on Windows. But don't be fooled by this because hybrid apps are usually very buggy, slow, and provide poor user experiences. They are cost effective. From my personal experience using a hybrid app, they're sometimes slow to update. So if iOS 9 comes out or Android 6 comes out, they may take a while to get the updates or register with their new API 